So in the last episode, I told you that we are going to be doing Ajax front end filters. And that episode is actually up while you're watching this episode. Uh, because this episode is actually optional. So in this episode, I just want to show you how you can integrate a semantic UI CSS framework to your October CMS project uh, using Laravel mix and NPM. So this, uh, this episode is completely optional. Uh, we are going to use that framework just so that we can make our forms and the display of our movies look a little bit better because as we were doing it right now, uh, it looks pretty ugly. So in this episode, I'm going to show you that. But remember, if you don't want to follow this episode or you have your own CSS or whatever, you don't have to follow it. Uh, you can just skip to the episode with Ajax filter. Okay, to follow along with this episode, you should take a look at the episode called Laravel Mix and October CMS because we are going to integrate that into our uh, CSS or CSS files. Uh, but I think you can also use Gulp or maybe even uh, Laravel Elixir. It will work either way. So first of all, we are going to install that CSS framework via uh, npm repository. And to do that, you just do npm install semantic UI dash CSS. So it's important to install this version because we are just going to use the CSS from it. Uh, you already have uh, other versions which have some JS in it, components and so on. We are not going to be using that. We just need the CSS. So just do npm install semantic UI CSS. Okay, so once this is installed, uh, we will run npm run watch because we are using Laravel mix for this site. So npm. And once it started, uh, it's going to automatically open up our page in our browser. Okay. So now we have our page right here. And now we just have to integrate semantic UI to our uh, SCSS files. And to do that, I'm just going to go to themes, Olympus, assets, says, and then you go right here to style.scss. I'm just going to remove this Susie that I have here because we are, we are not using it, so we don't need it. And then we are going to import semantic UI. Now, since we installed it via NPM, uh, you would import it this way. So we are using this squiggly line right here uh, to say to Laravel mix. Okay, so this component is actually is a, in npm modules folder. So you want to uh, use that squiggly line. Uh, and uh, that's about it. We just save it. And if we check out uh, our Laravel mix, you can see that all of this is actually compiled. And now we can check out uh, how this semantic UI uh, actually works. So right now I'm on my homepage.htm file. Uh, it's in pages folder. Uh, and as you can see, all of these movies are represented with an li tag. And we can just add a class to that tag. So UI segment, and if we save it, you get this. So this is how the segment uh, component looks in semantic UI. And also you can check other ones. So you can go to semanticui.com, click on get started, and you have all of the components that you can use. You have buttons, segments, and so on. If you check out this segment part, so once you write segment, it's uh, it looks like this. It can also be raised. It can also be stacked. So if we check out the code for that, it should be just a stacked segment. So we just add stacked right here. And now our movies look this way and so on. So this is the way you would import semantic UI to our October CMS site. And as I said before, pretty similar uh, procedure would be for adding bootstrap, foundation, Bulma or whatever you like to use. Okay, now that we got this covered, you can go and check out the next episode in this series, which is going to be about Ajax front end filters. 
also remember everything we did here will be available for you on github the link will be in the description below uh, please follow me on twitter or on facebook if you want to ask me questions also you can ask them on youtube my site and so on uh, if you like this video please give it a thumbs up if you like the channel maybe subscribe to it and if you want to send some money my way you can use the patreon page for that thank you guys for watching and i will see you very soon in the next episode